<laughs> Badly drawn boy there. Silent sigh. Is that the one with the duck? That yes. Very yeah. good idea. Apparently he stopped wearing his hat around because he keeps getting recognised. And he's gonna not wear his hat when he doesn't want to get recognised. Okay. Maybe pop it in the wash. Mm. Mm. Mean, be careful, let's just have a kind of a light cold well, rinse. Yeah, light cold rinse, soak it, yeah. right, because it's woollen, right, mm. and then just leave it out on a towel. Or, you know, maybe ne mm. in, uh, no, near the immersion heater. Yeah, sure. Or over a radiator. Well, what, or even the radiator, is that a problem? It can <laughs> cause that sort of, you know, <laughs> damaging to okay. the fibres of the wall. He had, what? he had a kid last week. Did he? Yeah. Who did? Badly drawn boy. Oh, right, okay. Bad Badly drawn little boy, he's yeah. gonna call it, isn't he? Brilliant, Rick. Yeah. Well done. It's a sort of satire. Mm. I'd like to see that as a headline, you know, Stand and deliver, oi, oi, money, you your life. <laughs> oh. Um, now, <laughs> go here. Oh, Carl, can we explain panic. why that's funny? Don't panic, Carl, I'm a professional. Don't worry. What's your concern, Carl? What's your concern? Nothing. Tell us. <laughs> no. You can say. No, you I can can't. You can! This is so unprofessional. It's what? What? What have we done? What? Talking about wool? Right. <laughs> Come on, Carl. What's the problem? What's the problem? You say. <laughs> He's great, and he? He's lovely. so scared. Um, Come on, Carl. What's tell us? I don't know all the ins and outs, so I don't want to get into it. What? The thing. No, well, you look, can... you can't. Look, people are perplexed now. What's the What's the thing, Carl? What's the thing? What are you worried about? Say. Is it, is it an email? That's been received by the head of yeah, XFM. Yeah, you've, you've got the email open. You, you can talk read. about. You can say what it. Okay, yeah, let me just without, without. I don't understand it. Please note that under uh, under a ruling at the Old Bailey, any yeah. reference to Adam Ant's state of mental illness in any news report will constitute a breach of the ruling and therefore lead to serious action from his lawyers. That's right, and that's true. Subject, we can't we can't talk about that. You can play his records and sing his classic sing, songs. Sing songs. Yeah, well, it's best just to leave it, isn't it? Yeah, well, that's what. We, yeah, Carl was a little bit worried. There's no way I was going to mention that or influence anything, and I totally agree with the. Law, so don't, don't panic, Carl. That should have never been sent to you. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because it's like, you know, accidents happen. Go when, on then. When things like that happen, right, you know, you've been told not to mention it. Yeah. And you're like a little kid. Yeah. And, and once things are in your head, yeah. it's difficult not to mention it. I mean, when, uh, <laughs> when I was a kid, <laughs> yeah. Go on. right, <laughs> yeah. me, uh, <laughs> my mum's ma sister, Hazel, right. was, was seeing another bloke. <laughs> um, it's weird because she's a lesbian now. <laughs> <laughs> That's really weird. <laughs> that must have been an interesting Christmas. But anyway, <laughs> but anyway, she's seen this bloke and it looked like Ken Dodd, apparently. He looked uh, like Ken Dodd. Looked like Ken Dodd. <laughs> so people said, "Don't mention it because it gets it gets on his nerves when you when you like meet him and you go, oh god, you look like Ken Dodd." <laughs> so I said, "All right, his name is Will or whatever." And uh, I was introduced to him. First thing I said, "Nice to meet you, Ken." <laughs> <laughs> Did you do it as a joke, or did you? No, no, because you know when you know, he's like, I'm not allowed to say that. I yeah, can't say that. I can't, mustn't say that. Can't. And then yeah. I saw him. I thought, Jesus, it does look like him. <laughs> yeah. so it just came out. <laughs> was it Doddy who turned her into a lesbo? Do you think? Well, he wasn't a good-looking bloke, so no. possibly. She started going out with Esther Ranson, though, <laughs> which is which is weird. Out of the frying pan. What was the story with the lesbianism then? Did, 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 how did she announce that to everyone? What um, age was she when she realised? Well, I mean, I mean, we're not a close family, do you know what I mean? We're not no. a close family who keeps in touch with everyone. And I think my mum called her up one Christmas and sort of said, you know, how's Will? How's the Diddy men? <laughs> yeah, how's and, Nutty uh, Ash? And yeah. she said, oh no, I'm not, I don't do that anymore. Um, I'm knocking about with Sandra or whatever. Right. And it was like, oh right. Not big butch Sandra with the big earrings and the skinhead. <laughs> Used to live down the road from you. I, I don't know. Like, Used to get know. Doc Martens wholesale. That's Sandra. <laughs> but but she lived, she had a haunted house. Go on. Um, <laughs> Who's Sandra? No, Hazel. Right. This, is this before she was a lesbian or not? Before. Okay. Right. And um, there was a bike in the hall and the pedals used to go back. <laughs> there was a what in the hall? A bike. <laughs> 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 that's handy, isn't it? <laughs> oh, okay. that's great. Don't worry, we won't do, do anything. So, sorry, no, there was. I want to know about the haunted house. There was mm. a bike in the hall, and what There was happened? a bike in the hall, and the pedals used to go backwards on their own. And also, shoes used to stick to the wall or something. Did they? Yeah. <laughs> shoes used to stick to the wall? Yeah. yeah. Okay. That sounds like a. That's a haunted house. A, 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 a household. Yeah. Well, oh, dear. Go. Brilliant. Maybe she should clean the walls. Oh, look at you. Classic. The Flaming Lips, Yoshimi Battles the Pink Robots mm -hmm. on XFM 104.9. I'm Ricky Gervais, with me is Steve Merchant and Carl Pilkington. 
good morning. Uh, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to own up straight away. I've done very little work towards this show this week. I'm a bit <laughs> you busy. surprised me. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I apologise if it sounds a bit sort of. Thanks for being honest, though. Well, right? no, I don't. You know, I don't want people to go. Oh, no, that was a bit shoddy this week. I hope it's not going to be that every week. Yeah. So it is because I've done very little preparation. <laughs> okay. So right. You know, you where is normally? You'll probably have to help me out. All right. You have to do some of the some of the work. Carl, you might have to help us out a little bit as well. I don't know. But, I mean, I don't know. Steve's done nothing towards it either. So. The onus is on you a little bit here. I love the fact that it's still listed as either Ricky Gervais or Ricky Gervais and Stephen Merchant. Mm. In the, you know, Essentially, we don't need to be here, really. No, it, but I know now people listen for Carl. Mm. Uh, everyone I've spoken to, for you know, people on buses to uh, comedians like Ross Noble mentioned you the other day, and uh, you know, it, it, they go uh, people on buses. I've never been on a bus. You haven't been years. on a bus no. for like twelve years. Yeah. Have you? Uh, <laughs> people on buses. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I find that so funny. I just know well, the they, idea no. of you being on a bus. Well, the idea of you well, handing over your affairs. They're shouting out from the window. Right. They're going, I love Carl. Right. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, just, I'm walking along. How much is it on the bus? 20 pence. <laughs> no, come on, seriously, how much is it? Uh, um, w one, one adult for Terminus, please. <laughs> I love the fact, you know, they do that thing where, like, if they're interviewing kind what is of it? Paul 50, Newman or someone p? famous. No, uh, it's a quid, isn't it? It's always, a quid. They always say, how much is a b pint of milk? And that's supposed to prove if you're sort of still in touch with your roots or whether you're too big a celebrity. <laughs> yeah. You've got no idea how much it costs on the bus. Quid. Have you? It's not a quid. 120. No, it's not 120. Pint of milk, about 50p. <laughs> 30p. <laughs> <laughs> oh, brilliant! Well, wow. because oh, I mean, it's fascinating because you gave this stuff. I mean, you gave this stuff up before you became a celebrity, didn't what? you? You were you were always lazy. Because people always say to me, like, "Oh, um, you know, Ricky seems a bit obnoxious." Who know. says that? Well, no, they say you know. No, they, no. Who comes up to you and just says that? The guy on the tube did it. <laughs> I swear to God, he came up. He said, uh, "He said I was watching an interview with Ricky. He said he's not a nice piece of work." I went, "Well, I mean," he said, "No, I've got friends like that." You know, just, and it's like, they're always talking, they're a bit irritating, you know, and you sort of let them off because they're your mates. But I was going, well, hang on a minute. He went, Well, nah, well, well two things, you know, it's sort of my job talking, and mm. being interviewed, essentially you do have to talk. <laughs> yeah, so yeah about yourself. If that's his only criticism, then yeah. I'm not too bad. No, he didn't think you were funny either. So. <laughs> he had a, in fact, he had a whole list. <laughs> well, well I say a list, a it, petition. It wasn't Dickie Anderson, was it? <laughs> it wasn't Rich Richard Anderson. I hope he's listening. He's our biggest fan. I'll tell you what, Mock Turtles need a remix by Fatboy Slim, don't they? Mock Turtles? It's yeah. a great tune, but I'd love to hear a next yeah the Lars and there she goes what a great start to a show we've had we've had 20 minutes of some of the the best banter chatter and music and anecdote anywhere on the dial you're damn right high five yeah <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. Sweet man, sweet man. oh uh, what are we talking about um, now oh, oh well I, I love that track. It's lovely. I, I, they've got a bit of the, the Liverpool gene pool, haven't they? That sort of doddy. You know what I mean? I like the Scouse sort of look. You know, the Scylla Black and the Stan Boardman. Yeah, it's, it's sort particularly of, it's sort unique of, it's, to Liverpool. It's isn't sort it? of happy and teeth and ears. And, <laughs> it's you know happy I mean? and teeth and ears. Yeah. <laughs> what a brilliant yeah. description. Yeah. Happy and teeth and ears. <laughs> yeah, that's just three of my <laughs> friends. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, we've got a great track lined up, haven't we, Carl, that I've brought in? So I'm going to go off. Now, I'm not ashamed. As you know, me and Steve aren't worried about being part of a trend or, or you know, being trendy or jumping on about it. Steve particularly doesn't worry about, like, looking good or, well, you know. Uh, no, no, I'm saying. No, I, as it's a compliment, you don't, it, it, it doesn't worry about walking along like that or, you know. Well, like, this is, like a, I'm looking good. No, no, no. But I'm saying thing. you don't mind the insults, freak boy or goggle eye or. Uh, swore off a duck's back, mate. Do you know what I mean? Or, or a new phrase that's been coined because of Steve's face, swore off a frog's back. Who's saying that? Well, just a lot of, lot, a, lot, a lot of your, what? a lot of friends and that. But I well, mean. My friends? Yeah. A lot of, uh. A lot of the people. Hey, you, can you, you name names or? I, I can't really. Make promises you can't. I, I can't. I can't you really. Anyone up. I, I think it's the cagoule. Looks good. It does look. It's good. It's waterproof, Rick, and it's also stylish. I wear nothing underneath, so it's tight Ooh. to the skin. It gets sticky oh, in weather. That, yeah. Is that why you sort of rustle? But what's so what's what's all the? Is there abuse? What's this no, thing? no. They just say because I'm pretty trendy guy. But I, I, as you say, I cut my own trend. You know, I make my own style. You know that. Consequently, the pipe. You don't feel that's an affectation. I, I don't think, I think because you're young and tall, yeah. the pipe looks a little bit silly. Go on. I mean, I know you're, wor you're worried about because because we've already lost the trilby. Well, I'm worried because pipes are going to die out. I mean, this is the problem. That there's no young people now who are taking up the pipe as a smoking device. Is there's there no anyone, young is there anyone under the age of, what should we say, oh, we've said this 25? before, and I don't think there was, there was no one. I think there was some nutty old woman who phoned in and said, I smoke a pipe. 
Yeah. But I'm talking about, you know, because years ago it was like an Oxbridge student, you know, you'd be at Cambridge or something, you'd have a, a lovely pipe, you know, tweed suit, you'd be there studying. That was, you know, and that was the young gent always smoked a pipe, but no one is now. I, I'll tell you this, in the year 2050, there'll be no pipes. They won't exist. Well, I think all all um, drugs like uh, nicotine and alcohol will be banned, and we won't uh, we won't be allowed to think our own thoughts. We'll have to live in the sewers, like eating rat burgers. That's or true something, enough, won't we? Yeah. And it would have to download our memories or something. Oh probably. God! And I, 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 but I'll be a rebel, Rick. I'll just no, be down there listening to jazz. No, you won't. Yeah. You'll, you'll just have a little chip in the back, and you'll be you'll be going out with a big fat man with a big toga on, and will be and you'll be you'll be touching him. But well, I think it's a beautiful woman. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, you will. Yeah. yeah, and I'll be fighting with the. The Rebel Underground. No, you won't. I will. No. I will. I'll you, be dead, won't I? <laughs> you'll be dead, yeah. I'll be dead, yeah. In 2050, you will. I'll be dead. Unless you, because obviously you're becoming quite wealthy now. You're becoming a very rich man, obviously, from all your, you know, I'll celebrity have brain, endorsements. I'll have my brain put into a robot. <laughs> exactly. Made of titanium. And yeah. I'll have it, oh. Would you it, be cryogenically frozen if you could do it? I would, but I'd leave myself out on a towel. <laughs> right. Never, because if you do it too quickly, you, there is shrinkage. You've got to be that, careful. Did you read in the paper this week? This is true. Apparently, the, um, the world's oldest man, who's 113, lives in some little part of Japan. Sure. Like a little island in Japan. Yeah. But apparently, the world's oldest woman also lives in exactly the same place. Now, I don't know if she's since died, but she lived in the same place as well. Do you not think there's something suspicious going on there? I mean, isn't that a bit eerie to I'm, you? I'm thinking, have you ever seen them together? <laughs> and have, has he ever, have you ever found lipstick in his bag? <laughs> I think that would be one and the same. I wonder if it's something like, you know, what, what, what brought Godzilla back? There's some kind of, there's oh, some antics no. over there. No, there, there might be, might they're sort of like, yeah. Although, just hearing like, some of Carl's stories about school, there's somewhat going on there where he lives. Yeah. Did you say you did live near a sort of um, nuclear plant or something? I found out it wasn't a nuclear plant, it was a chemical plant. <laughs> My God. Yeah. Really? And is that, is that really true? What colour was the yeah. tap water in your area? It was better than it is in London. Right. Really? I was talking to someone about this the other day. Yeah. Um, <laughs> water in London's ropey. Um, and, and I use one of them water filters. Do you really? And the guy down in the office was saying it's a waste of time though, because they only work for a couple of water, like you fill your jug twice, and then the water's going through the same muck, isn't it? That's true enough. But so it's not, it if it's work. not getting through, it's not getting through. No, if it's, it's a filter, it doesn't matter, does it? S still not good, though. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. Good point. So, you just, are you just throwing it away based on what that bloke said? <laughs> did Did he ha, sell, he did he sell you another one that he had on <laughs> yeah, him? Did a, he better, a better updated model. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Did he have a suit and a? When you say like he works here, was he actually hanging around outside? <laughs> yeah. Did, did he with have a, a suitcase with, with a lots cart. of these in? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh Talk dear. About, so just go back to insults briefly. Go on. You know, you're saying. <laughs> Oh, no, no, I, uh, see, that's... Goofy, that's no, not No, no, fair. no, because that's, that's what he said, it's in the head. I, what I, do you mean he said no, that? When did he no, say that? No, no, I mean... When did you call me Goofy? No, he didn't. I he said about what's in the head. Hey, no, when it's, come on. Come off it. Don't what, who's calling like, me Goofy? No. I'm not even Goofy. No. Goggle eyes, fair enough. No, yeah, but you can sort your Lanky. account, I can't. What yeah. do you mean I can sort, how can I sort my lookout? I'm not even Goofy, you've that's got, not fair. You've got the proper features. What? Just need sorting out a bit. I can't help it if if my hair's not good. I noticed the other day when Carl was sitting on your knee having his picture taken. Yeah. It's a long story, right? Yeah. He's got a completely spherical head. It's slightly too small. I'm not being funny because I mean, you know, I'm not perfect. <laughs> 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 but he's got a completely spherical little head. He looks a little bit like a baby hamburger. You know, hamburger off um, uh, McDonald's. Sure. He looks like a little baby hamburger, and it's sort of quite put upon. It's S Suzanne thinks a lot like that thing in that. Hulix advert, you know when the woman pulls the head off that? <laughs> that little plasticine yeah, morph type and then they make a new ad for it. And it's like a little ad. <laughs> really? And that's your girlfriend saying it. I know. Anyway, listen, let's, let's get back to uh, uh, business here. This is uh, a great track. It's America by Simon and Garfunkel. This is where I started saying we don't care about being trendy and all that. That was it. <laughs> Our Freaks Electric, Richard Eckles, Sugar Babes, on XFM 104.9, Steve. Absolutely. I'm Ricky Gervais, with me Steve Merchant. Hello. Carl, the, uh, the producer. Right. Seven minutes past one of a Saturday, and what a lovely Saturday it is. It is indeed. By, well, it, it looks nice and bright, but it's deceptive, because I went out, and I just had a t-shirt on, and I had my jumper on me. I got out there, and I thought, this is chilly. <laughs> I, had to I had to pop the jumper on. Oh, no. So, uh, you know, just be careful. If, you, if you're just, uh, you know, looking out the window thinking, I'll, I'll go outside, pop a jumper.
jumper on or or, or a jacket because it looks nice, but it is a little bit colder than it looks. Rick, can I ask, were you wearing the jumper around your waist, tied with a knot, or did you have it over your shoulders, like maybe I, you just jumped off a yacht? I popped it round my waist, and I tell you why. Okay. I tucked my t-shirt in for neatness and comfort. Lovely. But I know, even I know, that's a little bit dorky. So sure. I was trying to hide the belt line. Okay. Okay. So uh, okay. then I popped the jumper on. Didn't have to worry about it. Did so you now go with the double on. knot? I didn't, I did, uh, uh, Because that can loosen if you're not careful, especially if you're carrying bags or you're busy on the tube. I know, but I wouldn't mind that, as long as I didn't lose it. As long as I saw it loosen and fall, I'd <laughs> okay. pick it up. And You'd then, uh, if you and then clean it. Goodness. Not in the, uh, washing machine, though. Go Just, on. I'd pop it in a cold wash soak, okay. right, and then leave it out on a few towels or something, or pop it over the radiator. So what's the problem with uh, putting it in a hot wash? Well, it can cause shrinkage. <laughs> oh, no. So, uh, <laughs> coming up, we've got lo loads of tunes. We're gonna be playing, them. Um, some of the best bands around, some, uh, some new ones, some old ones. Might even play some, um, uh, Adaman, we don't know yet. <laughs> Let's have a uh, badly drawn boy though, shall we? Come on. Current single. All your cells um, die and are replaced many times over in your life. Um, except the brain cells, you only lose them. You lose hundreds and millions and trillions, right? And you've still got plenty left, don't worry. Or well, most people have. Um, so, only a small percentage of the cells you're born with remain yours, the brain cells. So, supposing you're 99% different all the time, you're changing, is that the same person? Well, you'd say, yeah, because you've got the important ones, the brain cells, which keeps your memory, your personality, your input, the you. But, but then, as we talked before, if you, ch if you took your brain and put it in someone else, would you yeah. be the same person? You know, well, then, so yeah, what well, defines the person? Yeah, it's the, the brain, isn't it? That, it that is the is brain, it. but then if you look different, you'd be treated differently and you have a different personality. You could still be the same person, but people change anyway. People's personalities change. And if you're in a car accident and you lose all your memories, you, you, you've got the same hardware. Uh, people have had complete personality changes. Particularly through car. I knew someone who knew someone whose, uh, yeah, girlfriend was in a terrible accident and she lost uh, a lot of her memory. And so the person she was with, her boyfriend or fiance, she no longer related to them in the same way. And equally, he, obviously, that, that wasn't the same woman that yeah, you fell in love fault? with. but was it his fault? Was it his fault? What's that no, got to no, do no. with it? What's that got to do with it? No, was it his fault? Was the accident his well, what's fault? what's that got to do with it? Because you would be fed up, wouldn't you? That's a completely different point that he was making. No, it wasn't. He said yeah. a woman had an accident. Yeah, but we were talking about, are you the same person? Well, hang on, let's hear what Carl's point is. You said, yeah. you know this woman was yeah. in an accident. Yeah. It's terrible, that. It's sad. Yeah. Now, all I'm saying is she went- opinion just popped in there. She- yeah, well, that's sad. Yeah. She went off him- I'll pass on your condolences. Yeah. She went off the fella. Yeah. All I'm saying is, you're saying, oh, it's because a brain had a knock and went, oh, I'm not into him anymore, but all I'm saying is, <laughs> if it was his fault who was driving the car, and yeah. it happened because of him, mm. you would sort of go, Yeah, but that's not the point I was making at all. It's not, it was, is it? It, it's A, not, he wasn't not. involved, but B, it was because she got a form of amnesia, so she, she didn't relate to him in the same way, because the life they'd spent together, she no longer had a memory of, and equally, when he was talking to her, she was no longer the person that he'd first met. Do you see what I mean? So, that's what my point was. Not because he was in- oh. Yeah, no, I can understand that. That doesn't surprise me that much, I suppose. At the end of the day, it is what you go through, isn't it? Yeah. You can harp back. You can talk about stuff. Uh, Arp back. You can harp back. Is that what a good relationship is based on? If there's a lot of young people out there listening, they're wondering what to look for. I, I think that's the best thing about getting old, isn't it? You yeah. can sit down and do nothing but think about a lot. If you're a baby, you've done now, you're lying there, you can't walk. I can't remember being a baby, and I put that down to it being boring. <laughs> <laughs> Because you only remember the you good can't things. You remember your birthday. No, it's, it's, you remember the good things in life, don't you? I'm quite happy. I can sit down for a good hour or so and just think back and go, oh, that was good. When was the last time you reminisced? Well, my mum and dad have been round, haven't they? So, been yeah. reminiscing a lot. Yeah. Um, what were you thinking about? We were just chatting about um, Tic Tacs. <laughs> One of the great memories, yeah. The happy memories. <laughs> no, because I, you see, here's, here's the thing. You're saying how that woman changed mm. when she had her head caved in. <laughs> he never said that. What did you? Well, the the brain accident. Yeah. Um, brain accident. Yeah. The 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 tic tacs. Mm. Now I used to love them. Yeah. When I was younger. Yeah. yeah. My dad got a load of them. Mm. What got, this year? No, Just no, recently. years ago, oh, years, like, ago, years ago, when I loved them, I said I loved tic tacs. Me. Yeah. yeah. He met one of his mates. He didn't nick him from the sweet shop. No, no, no. That's no, he knew did. some yeah. mate who uh, who could get his hand on a load. Right. And uh, he must have got thief. about he, he must have got about thirty crates of tic tacs. Thirty crates of honestly, tic tacs. Honestly, mm. we'd have about twenty four on each crate. We got them, stuck them in a cupboard under the uh, just in the kitchen, the corner. Yeah. 
Now, I worked my way through about six crates. It's quite happy. When? How, in how long? I don't know, in about two weeks, three weeks or something. Right. And then uh, after that, I'm getting sick of these. Right, yeah. You were minty fresh, but yeah, you were oh, sick lovely of fresh breath. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, I haven't got that much more to tell you about it. It's just. What you just this, sorry, whoa, 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 bear in mind, this was something he was recently reminiscing with his parents <laughs> yeah, about. No. They were sat around, and we've already learned up to an hour could go by reminiscing. <laughs> yeah, sat around yeah. for an hour and uh, talking about the, the I've great already run out of saga. responses. I've yeah. got nothing to say about no, that. Opinion, I mean, I was nearly going to say, what do you do with the empty little flicky tic tac boxes? Yeah, but then I you mean, realise that that's utterly dull and boring. Uh, well, and not I, just, I was struggling. I don't know what this anecdote is, other than a bloke. Yeah. Other than you said your dad, I like tic tacs, me. He went, all right, I talked to. Albert, Albert, you got Tic Tacs? I've got 30 crates, if that'll do, yeah. <laughs> yeah, bring him around. Put him under cupboard. He's got through 12 crates. What's his breath like? Fucking lovely, but he's been sick all over the cunting place. Oh, do you want some more? No, of course we fucking don't. You'll talk about that in a few years' time. Of course we will for about a fucking hour. No. Then we bring it up in an audio book. But that's, I think that's how we got onto it, because even though I, tr I tried to get rid of a load, I used to give them to mates, take them to school, say, have some Tic Tacs. Yeah. You can have them for free. We used a load in the cat litter tray. <laughs> no. No, no we you did. didn't. We did. It no, was just didn't. ways of getting rid of them. Jesus Christ. Sort of freshy, sort of freshy smell, isn't it? That's it's the same amazing. sort of condensity in that, isn't it? Condensity. It is the same condensity. Um, same condensity. <laughs> yeah, so I got rid of them like that. And then uh, the weird thing was, even <laughs> though I'd got shut of them all, um, you'd be vacking up and you'd always hear one ting its way up the tube. <laughs> It's tinging its way up the tube. It's tinging its way up the tube. It's tinging its way up the tube. Ding tong, ping pong. It's tinging its way up the tube. That sounds like something from Willy Wonka. <laughs> oh god! No, it's just I'm just demonstrating that because that's how many of them there were around the house. You'd drop mm. them, they'd go in every corner and that, like Pac-Man mm. or something. They'd be that's everywhere. You'd be vacuuming up. Tinging it Sheila's up. getting married. I'll get some confetti. Don't buy any confetti. Go to cupboard under stairs. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, that's a little memory there, isn't it? It that is a little memory. No, it's, it's a the, really the, little memory. The, the strange Tic Tac house in yeah. Salford, where everything is made of Tic Tacs. Wow, that must have been a hell of that's a incorrect. hell of a time you had with your parents there. Oh. And the old Tic Tac memories. No, but it's better. You see, you're you're saying, oh, what a boring story that is. Yeah. But when yeah. when I your mum and dad regravelled the drive, <laughs> yeah, smell it. <laughs> suck, suck the drive if you want. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. No, but it's different. When my mum and dad are there and they can remember that and they're oh. going, oh yeah, yeah, the Tic Tac incidents and stuff. <laughs> What's known as the Tic Tac incident? <laughs> the Tic Tac incident! Let us never speak of the Tic Tac incident. Yeah, I just imagine the clock ticking. There, it's Christmas Day, I go, what are you smiling at? Oh, I remember it used to ting up the tube. <laughs> <laughs> you should think about sending this to Hollywood. Listen, what do you remember then? <laughs> what, what do, do you I remember? remember? That's wow. an amazing thing to That's say. That's a difficult question to answer. Yeah, I don't. Nothing. Nothing at all. Why, out of interest though, and this is this will sound naive, why don't we remember <laughs> the very early moments of our lives? Why Why is it? Is it, is it because it would be too harrowing to remember the point at which we... Uh, Sort of boring because I don't really remember anything from those first few years. Why? Why is it? Is it just because the brain's not fully formed at that moment? Uh, I don't know. The memory's not sufficiently uh, I, developed. I, I, I honestly it's got to be trauma, on it. It's the things. Again, we were talking about me being younger, and the youngest I could remember back to was nineteen seventy-eight. How old were you then? Uh, where were you born? Seventy-two. What? You, can only, you couldn't remember earlier than six. Um, you can remember back to about two or three, most people. What, no, no way. No way. My mum and dad don't even remember them. <laughs> <laughs> because you're not doing anything. This is what I'm saying. My mum and dad don't even remember me then. <laughs> That's amazing. Because oh, they, 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 they <gasps> pinpoint they things. They all the tic tacs <laughs> they've ever yeah, yeah. Do you remember when Carl was uh, six? Of course I do. <laughs> Five? Yeah. Four? <laughs> uh, yeah. Three? No. <laughs> Two? No! <laughs> because you're not doing anything, are you? <laughs> my mum and dad don't even remember so, me then! And, and it's oh. weird. I remember, s must have been about two, sitting on a potty surrounded by Lego. I remember that, very st strong image I have of that. No, I don't remember that. No, you no, don't remember no, that, no, were no, you? No, would no, you, you weren't there, there. were you? What do you mean? What, you don't remember Steve sitting on a potty <laughs> surrounded by Lego? No, I mean, I can't remember having a potty. I remember having well, one you, of them. I'm not suggesting no, you have the you same memory. You used to memory. go in a fucking litter tray. Now I know why to eat a Tic Tac while you're having a shit. But, okay, um, so what is your very first memory? 
The one that cropped up the other day was having my eyes sort of uh, glued together by um... <laughs> gangsters. <laughs> Where's the fucking tic tacs? <laughs> no, I we was... lost our truck for you. Yeah. <laughs> when, I, when I was on holiday and I slept near the window, and the window was open, and I used to wake up in the morning with my eyes shut. My mum and dad thought I was having a lovely lie in. I was just cutting it off my eyes. But what? I don't understand. Why were they. I'm going to burst! What do you mean? Why <laughs> were they glued? Why were they. What do you mean they were glued? Wait, wait. But just... why didn't you say, Mum, Dad, <laughs> I'm not asleep. My eyes are glued together. It's just. You get a build up on, yeah. the, on the eyelashes. Yeah, yeah. And it all. It... <laughs> when they came in and you could sense them looking at I didn't know they were there. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Why did you say to us? So you lay there dead still? Well, you should have sprinkled some Tic Tacs around the bed, and you'd have heard them <laughs> crunching in as they came in. Yeah. Oh, what do you mean? So, so that's, you, that's your me eyes are wait. So your eyes are stuck together. You're lying there. You're still. You're awake, but you can't open your eyes, so you don't say anything. Yeah. What? Well, why? What, what every so day? Your, it your memory a lot. It happened a lot. But your memory was that that this was scary to you because you thought I'd gone blind. You'd gone blind. Probably, and it hasn't happened since, so it's something you remember happening, isn't it? <laughs> it's like the kidney stone thing. That mm. will always stay with me, because it's like I was in agony. Yeah. Right. And that's what I'm saying about trauma. It's quite frightening when you're a no, kidney you cat saying, your eyes. No, you were saying- you were saying you don't remember trauma. No, oh, really. <laughs> well, do you, remember that, do you remember that traumatic. conversation we had a few minutes ago? Maybe it's because they had time to lie there and think about it. Because I, I sort of wonder that, if, if having vision- <laughs> Does get in the way. Mm. No, that's a good one. Okay, go on. Interesting. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, go on. Well, just your eyes. Your eyes mm. are. You know. Go on. Um, what are they? They're the, they're the thing mm. that makes you do the things you want to do, aren't they? Your eyes. What do you mean? What do you mean? Interesting. Go on. Could be a, could everything. Be... Everything. You might want to. Yeah. You might like drawing. Right. Your eyes. Mm, that's an example, though, isn't it? Because then you might like music, and you don't need your eyes for that, do you? Um, well, yeah, ideas. because you still yeah. got to find your way to the record shop to well, find the, well, the record no, no, you want. Because you know, someone could um, put it, put it for you. We could. Uh, um, what I mean is, your eyes. Wonder, say, doing? say rather you than might, like, um, smells, you might be a perfume. You need let me just think. The nose, don't you? Wine tasting. Just. I've just always thought. Mm. Blind people. Go on. Are probably good listeners. Right. Yeah. That yeah, makes okay. sense. Yeah. Yes. Which means that they'll be more brainy. Possibly. They won't waste their eyes on watching rubbish telly. No. Yep, sure. Um, but bear in mind, you learn a lot, don't you? Yeah, Just from yeah. what you see, you Swings absorb a lot of information Swings from what you see. Right. Yeah, but, but blind people are going to say, right, I'm not going to be defeated here. Mm, right. I'm going to make sure that I still feed my brain with stuff. Right. Whereas if you've got eyes, your eyes can sometimes say, well, don't listen to that intelligent thing there. Yeah. Watch some rubbish on the telly. Yeah. yeah. Why are you, your eyes are saying that, are they? Who are they talking to? Are they talk I'm just saying, if you've got eyes... Yeah, they're talking to you. You're more drawn to things drawn that to, keep you... What are you drawn to, keep, though? Keep your eyes, keep on, your eyes you interested. It's like everything. Right. It picks your food for you. Mm. Does it? No, yeah, it does. It, it does. Of course, it does. That's why they advertise food in a way that the look, those adverts on the telly look. So at this. this isn't an ordinary pasta. Yeah. It's, it's, so yeah, you well, you'd eat a nice uh, a nice plastic apple, would you? It looked like a lovely. It looked like an apple. Eat it. Presentation mm. is ninety percent of what goes on now in this world. Mm. Whether it's clothes, is that is that a statistic that's because, that you picked that's up because you know what the thing you like looks like, so you recognise it. You go. Oh, I like that. You don't go, oh, I like the look of that. I ate it last time and I like the look of it as I was eating it. You go, I know what that is. That's the thing that tasted good. Not always. No? I think there's a lot of cakes out there and I've, I've been conned where my eyes have gone, that looks good. I'll go, can I have one of them? And I get it and it's just like air with cream on it. But that's there's nothing. You, you, there's are no you furious with your eyes at that point? But well, you've just contradicted annoying. your own point. No, I haven't. I've said, my eyes have said, this is what you want. Yeah. And I've been disappointed with it. So they, uh, so your eyes shouldn't pick your food then, should they, really? They you shouldn't. Should... No. But they do. Well, again, the next time you, you, you get the eyes go again, remember well, that? Yeah, I'll, but I'll say, I'll sort of go, hang on a minute, you remember <laughs> last time? This is different. You are the strangest it's man not, there's not I have weird. ever met. There's nothing weird about you that. You are the strangest person not, I've ever met. So are you mistrustful of your eyes? You, you don't are. trust anything you see now, you query here's, here's a clearer. It. Here's a clearer way of describing it. Go on. Holiday brochure. Right. Your eyes, look at it. Look mm. at this villa here. Look at that, it's got its own pool, close to all the amenities. <laughs> Get there, my eyes 
What have you picked? Because he's not what? as Who's good. Who's arguing now? <laughs> Who's angry with your eyes? Your, were your eyes angry then? No, I was angry. Okay, so your mouth and brain are angry with your eyes? Because one, my nose has kicked in, I'm next to the bins. Right, okay. You couldn't see that in the brochure, no, the eyes couldn't see that's that. That's true, true, true. The bottle banks again, they're close by, my ears are going, what's the racket? Yeah. My eyes are going, sorry. What? Your eyes are saying sorry? I'm just saying, I you can't trust your eyes. The eyes. I, I love care. I'm it's, surprised they felt guilt. I love the fact that his, his sense of human biology is based on the numbskulls. Of course. I don't, I don't yeah. know why you, you must pick stuff based on what your eyes thought initially. Well, it depends. But Carl, they're not detached in this separate way. They're not different operatives, all with different agendas. It's all connected. It should be. If I look at a picture in a, a brochure a magazine, and I think, oh, that looks nice, my brain instantly says, be careful though, because that's a publicity uh, tool, mm. in order to try and sell me this particular deal. It's prob chances are it doesn't look exactly in real life like it does in the brochure. Mm. I'm instantly thinking that. I'm not, I'm not going, hey, I'll book that. And then two weeks later I get there, I can't believe I'm fucking disappointed. Here's what do you make of it? Well, I'm livid because I can hear some fucking racket. <laughs> <laughs> All I'm saying is you don't see that many disappointed blind people. You mm. don't not, see that many disappointed blind, blind people. people. They're not let down that much. They're not let down. Spurious. You've got, that's no, you've got no information for that, no evidence for that at all. You've just made that you up. You don't see many disappointed blind people. No order. Here to stay. Sadly, we're not here to stay, Steve. We've only got about ten more minutes. That's true enough. Yeah? Well, I think that's just time for some uh, interesting facts that uh, Johnny Mango, our researcher from uh, LooseControl.com, has uh, emailed us. A few uh, familiar ones, favourite ones of yours, I think. Go um, on. Any ones I don't know, though? I, don't, I think you know this one, don't you? A pig's orgasm lasts for 30 minutes. I know. And uh, a pig can't actually look directly up. Wouldn't it can look directly up. 30 minutes of coming. <laughs> no, absolutely. Um, Daddy, be careful here. That's incredible. Remember what happened to Tom Bins. Go on. Humans and dolphins are the only species that have sex for pleasure. Uh, bonobos do as well, they've rediscovered. Which is, it, which is a, uh... Bonobo? Uh, yeah, um, a, 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 a chimpanzee, like a chimpanzee. Right. So, yeah. So it's three now. Can't believe dolphins are getting... They're more three, actually. they're all, they're all at it now. <laughs> <laughs> dolphins get more <laughs> Yeah. Um, uh, polar bears are left-handed. Yeah. It's so, yeah. I yeah. don't quite know how they work that out. Do they give them spelling tests? Or uh, writing tests? Oh yeah, they probably just do it, do it. It's probably the paw they use to hide up the, the black nose during a hunt. Of course, yeah. of course. Um, some lions mate over 50 times a day? Yeah, not, not every day of the year. Okay, they don't do that every day? No. Okay, because no. again, I'm worried. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> start, you know, I didn't think that dolphins... What day of the year do you mate. do it 50 times? What, <laughs> is it, it's coming up to it, it's April, isn't it, you'd like to get out there? I have a special day, yeah. Yeah. Uh, maybe we could, we could coincide that with the, uh, balloon event. <laughs> <laughs> It'll just me, be me quietly humping in the corner. <laughs> Volunteers, welcome to email now, you know. Um, <laughs> and it, all, all the proceeds go to charity. If you are a desperate lioness. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, butterflies taste with their feet. I didn't know that. Interesting. I didn't know that. That is interesting. But they don't eat much, do they? Because they only live a day. Good point. They wouldn't need to eat. Um, an ostrich's eye is bigger than its brain. Yeah, I knew that. Yeah. That's yeah. extraordinary. That is, yeah. Uh, yeah. and the, uh... uh but Carl, how big are your eyes? <laughs> cruel. <laughs> Finally, I think we've discussed this before, haven't we? A cockroach will live nine days without its head yes. before it starves to death. Yeah, that's only because it can't get water and food yet. It would, it would be quite happy going around doing its normal things. Yeah. I mean, Probably if, work. if you're just as good without your head as with your head... May as well not have a head. I just... I don't see the point. Well, that was uh, thanks to Johnny Mango there of... Uh, what's his website called? Uh, Who's turned into a sort of... Uh, Volunteered uh, researcher. Yeah, he's very fast. Losecontrol.com. Can I just say as well, we've had lots of emails from different people just uh, saying they enjoyed the show and offering little tidbits and things. Uh, Nick Wilson, Sarah and Lauren, Ken, Dan, Jane. She wanted some ash. We didn't play ash. Never mind. Oh. Lee, Jez, Derry. There's loads of people there. Well, I'm gonna, uh, again, we we're talking earlier about you know you not caring about being like a, a geek or a freak oh, or right, not trendy. Not. No, I'm just saying. I am trendy. I am. And I know, yeah. And uh, I'm gonna play a bit of an easy listening. I apologise to those people who still tune in, expect to um, hear two hours of new metal or gorillas. Um, and this is a uh, very old fashioned, lovely tune. It's bread. I hope you enjoy it. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage bread. Bread. <laughs> Sexist. 
<laughs> Joe Jackson. Jackson. <laughs> That's girls. why he's not in the charts anymore. I can't, I can't believe it. Unbelievable. Um, you were talking about renting an office. I'm a little bit intimidated because I'm just at the moment thinking about trying to buy a flat or something because sure. I'm just tired of pissing money down the drain. I know. Yeah. And, um, uh, but I'm just, I'm really petrified. I've put it off and put it off because I just, I'm really gullible. I just, when I'm in, confronted with anyone in a suit who sort of knows what they're talking about, they can sell me anything. I'm intimidated. It's like, you know, you're supposed to go in there and you're supposed to sort of act like you're the guy with the money. You're the, this is what I want, this is what I want. No, no, no. But I go in there and it's like I'm afraid they're going to say, clear off. I don't want to, I don't want to sell you eggs. I'm not yeah. really interested. Have you, ever, have you ever thought of like really putting on sort of like some sort of cool air? Like, uh, <laughs> like, sort of like <laughs> kicking the door and going, what was that? Like? <laughs> <laughs> is it like, is, you'd be found out in 30 seconds, <laughs> yeah, wouldn't you? Exactly. You'd go in there, you'd stub your toe and they go, what are you kidding? I can't put on your toe, I can't put on your toe. <laughs> yeah. Brilliant. Just tapping yeah. the walls. Yeah, tapping the wall. What's the, uh, what's the rates? What rates? I don't know. <laughs> Well, this is, do you remember, I don't know if I told you before, I went, I wanted to buy a laptop computer, yeah. and everyone said, uh, go up Tottenham Court Road, and I was reading, like, magazines and stuff, they were saying, haggle, make sure you haggle, make sure you got, you're planning to haggle, get the best deal you can, and I found a, a shop which was selling the computer I wanted, and I went in there, and I had this whole plan in my mind of what was going to happen, he was going to say, like, it's worth this, I'm going to go, yeah. well, look, I can get it cheaper here, I want to buy it from you, I'm going to haggle, da -da. and off I went, so I went in the shop, and uh, I said, yeah, looking for this, uh, interest in this Toshiba, how much is it, he went, oh, it's 1500 quid, I went, sure, sure, okay, I said, I'll give you 1300 he went, it's 1500. And I said, sure, but I'm willing to give you 1300. He went, 1500. And I was, I was done already because he hadn't even begun to haggle. And I was assuming he'd at least go 1400 and we could start, but no. So now I was screwed. My whole plan went out the window. Yeah. Well, you I, just leave. No, I said to him, I said, the thing is, I can get this computer cheaper down the road, but, you know, I like what you're providing me. I like your service. Uh, I've had good, good, good stuff about you. <laughs> <laughs> it was amazing. I said, I've heard good stuff about you. And he went, I said, uh, seriously, I can walk down the street. I can buy it there for cheap for like 1400. And he went, well, I'll see you later then. And I was like, right. <laughs> so I, I walked out the place. I said, well, I'm going to have to leave. And I walked out the place, and um, of course I wanted to get it from there because it was still the cheapest. So I had to walk back in again. I went, yeah, 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 yeah. I've, um, I just had some second thoughts. Listen, I'll tell you what. I'll pay the fifteen hundred. Can I get a free carry case? He went, the carry case is free anyway. I said, I'll take it. <laughs> Carry case is free I got nothing. No, but how much would you charge for that if it was on sale? <laughs> Carry case a tenner. Well, let's just say it is a tenner. Give it to me for free. And he went, no, it's a tenner. And he went, well, you said it was free a minute. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's just pathetic. Yeah, that is lovely. Path it's having to walk out making a big statement and then come back in again. Oh. Oh, and, um, dear. So I just, I'm really scared. I just, I feel like I need someone to come with me and do all the talking. You know, know what they're talking about. Because I don't, I'm not going to be able to tell if, they're, they're, if there's subsidence or if there's damp or... No, but you don't do that. Don't I? Is that not my responsibility? No, you get a survey done. Sure. And exactly they charge for that and then the... Yeah, you don't, you don't have to go around doing it yourself. Right. Uh, so I could, could I make a saving if I did it myself? <laughs> yeah, this should be all right. Yeah. There's a hole in the wall, Steve. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but what's a hole in the wall? <laughs> Put some newspaper in that. Chaucer's day, that was the toilet. <laughs> That'd be fine. Carl, you're a second time buyer, aren't you? Bought... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bought one in Manchester. Uh, yeah. Lost seven grand on that one. <laughs> Well, don't buy in Manchester. No, it's a good flat. It's just it wasn't. I, I didn't buy it to sort of make money. I thought I was going to be living there like all my life, and then a job came up here, and it was like, oh. You bought your first flat in Manchester. You assumed you would be living there for the rest of your life. Well, I wasn't in a rush. To go Play record. You're an idiot. Hang on a minute. I, so have you got a property portfolio? Have you got the two houses, Nick? No, oh, I've got rid of that one. Oh, you sold that one. Got this seven thousand pounds. Got this flat. I'll tell you something that is interesting. Hold on, though. What? Um, seven thousand pound lost. Yeah. It's it flat in Manchester, but it could only cost about eight grand anyway. <laughs> right, Steve. Something you, they, they do now, right? They've got to do by law when you're buying, right? I was looking at one in London, right? Um, it's haunted. They've got to tell you now. Right. Don't talk shit. I'm telling you now. Record. You're I'm telling you now. Yeah. Yeah. There's no such thing as ghosts. That if that that is ridiculous if that appears on a, a legal document. That right. If there's ridiculous. anyone who sells flats and that does that for a living. Yeah. Right. Email in because yeah. I'm telling you now that that is a fact. She sort of drops it in. She said, I said, oh, you know, nice nice feel there. And she said, yeah, well that will be the uh, the ghost. Just drops it in. That's all they've got to do. And then I was like, what? And I went, oh yeah. That's what I've got to do, is it? So that's the legal thing. Did you <laughs> drop it? In? So in court, you go, did you drop it? In? Yeah, I dropped it in. Play a record. You're an idiot. <laughs> Anyway, Rockbusters, Carl. Go yeah. on, should we get the ball rolling? Let me just find the, uh, yeah, the gifts yeah, here, the yeah. little treats. We've got the album from The Coral, you know what I think about that. We've got uh, Carl for In Sound Feeder. 
Well, it's just a novelty record, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so. We've got uh, on DVD more great comedy moments, favourite clips from the best of contemporary BBC comedy. We've got Partridge on the front there. We've got uh, one of the guys from Red Dwarf and uh, Brilliant. No, no, <laughs> good stuff on there. Smash hits, the reunion, more great eighties tunes. Catch a goo goos on there, uh, plus some stuff. Too shy. <laughs> it is too yeah, shy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, uh, let me see if you can guess which one's Go from on. Tiffany. Uh, well, yeah, I know it, the only one. I uh, think we're alone now. Yeah, I think we're alone, yeah. Um, Mel and Kim? Uh, Respectable? Mm-hmm. Human League? That'd be, oh, wow, what would, it be? would they have got Don't You Want Me? Of course. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Ta Lions, take on me? Yep, yeah. well done. Um, Madness? Baggy Trousers. Of course. Uh, Kim Wilde? Kids in America. Yeah, so it's just all those treats. If you if, yeah. you if you like a song from an 80s band, it's probably on there. Yeah, okay. Plus we've also got on uh, VHS uh, Graham Norton, some kind of best of compilation from his TV show. So uh, there are the. Um, Hold on, is it is it the one where he talks to sort of female gay icons and and looks at the internet? Because <laughs> that's my favourite one. Um, right, there you go. Let's do Rockbusters. Right, email then. only, of course. Yeah, yeah. Uh, email in Ricky at xfm.co.uk if you know the answer. Right, first one. A uh, bit of a cryptic clue, if you haven't heard it before. Well, not cryptic, we've gone. <laughs> um, what, what is Carl thinking? If you go into France by a boat, I'd get your fags on there, because it's a lot cheaper. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine Bob Holness. <laughs> sorry, you, we're out of time. I, uh, it's, sorry, your minute's up. You've won nothing. I was reading that question out. <laughs> sorry, right. so what's the... Right, let's do it again. I want it to be exactly the same, word perfect. I bet you it will change... Uh, all over the place. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's lost it. Go to right. France, buy yourself a boat. Yeah. Fags are okay. Cheaper. okay. Okay. Fingers on the buzzers. Um, you've only got ten seconds to win the uh, the gold run. Okay. First up. Yeah. I'll tell you what. No. Seriously. If you want, think of going to France, well, don't. You know, because go on the ferry, get the fags there, because it's cheaper. Go on. All right. So that one again. Uh, if you want to buy some fags, you're going over to France on the boat. Get them on there, because you'll save a few quid. B F. B F. Right. B F. Okay. Okay. Right, the second one. Um, mm. This little uh, <laughs> foreign cafe is growing its own steak. <laughs> <laughs> this little foreign cafe is growing its own steak. Yeah. <laughs> this little foreign cafe is growing its own steak. Go on. D. All right. Right. Okay. And the last one. Uh, uh, <laughs> is uh, that part of it? Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> He's the best. The Jamaican fella might have screamed oh. this on the uh, right. on the Titanic. What? Well, <laughs> the Jamaican fella might have scre might have screamed this on the Titanic. Yeah. Uh, uh, what, what's it start with? It's uh, C D. That one. <laughs> the Jamaican fella might have screamed this on the Titanic. Ricky Dot Gervais at XFM well, we'll get Rockbusters out of the way. Have we got a winner? Uh, yeah, well, come on then. Mm, See, it worries really. me that there's, we've had uh, very few entries. I think that even your Mental fans aren't getting these, which is really worrying. They must be terrible clues this week. All right, well, uh... Has anyone got them right, Steve? I think there's just one guy, yeah, who I suspect has won in the past. Well, that's we so what? Right, the first one. Uh, if you go out of France, by boat, uh, you might as well buy your fa fags when you're on that, because you'll get them a lot cheaper. Brilliant. Right? Yeah. Um, BF. Yeah. Buy it ferry. Right, that's like... What? <laughs> buy on ferry. What? Buy on, buy what's on, buy on ferry. ferry? Who's, what, what's that? Is that a band? What? What is it? I don't no, know what Bri it is. Brian Ferry. Brian Ferry? What's that got to do with buying on a ferry, though? Just because it's quite close to it. Buy on... <laughs> buy on ferry. Buy what? Buy on... Buy on ferry. Sorry, uh, uh, t t t what, what's first your first one. language? Uh, the second one. That's rubbish, that doesn't count. No, Brian, buy on ferry. <laughs> Brian Ferry, buy on ferry. Um, <laughs> there's this little foreign cafe, um, yeah. it's growing its own steak. Um, that's, that's Delamitri. Uh, the third one. What? What? <laughs> Sorry, what? What? What is that? What is that? Delamitri. Deli is a yeah. little foreign cafe. Yeah. A meat tree and that. <laughs> a meat tree? <laughs> a meat tree? <laughs> what were the initials for that? Just just D for that. Just D for that? Yeah. So not D-A? So you didn't even give them a chance to get the group? Well, they, they got it. Well, no. No, 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 no. They, they, they didn't. Right, it's the end. <laughs> go on, right. Go on. Deli meat tree? Deli meat tree. <laughs> One word. D. D. Deli. Or any letter. They're growing M. their own M. meat. M's in it. Right. Go on. 
Yeah. Okay, so Bayern, Bayern, I love Bayern Ferry. <laughs> and Ox Oxen Music, Oxen Music was brilliant. <laughs> can I, just... I love Oxen Music. Go on. Can I just point out, Rick, that, um, we've Dave, had... David Bowie? Delhi Meat Tree. Yeah. I don't see why, necessarily, uh, Aidan, who, uh, emailed in, why he doesn't get to win, because he emailed in Dire Steaks. <laughs> Seems to be just as valid, as far as I can tell, but <laughs> yeah. Delhi Mitri it is. Um, and the last one, uh, if there was a Jamaican fella on the Titanic... I'm looking forward to this, this. with a little bit of fear. Jamaican fella, if he was on the Titanic, he probably would have screamed this. Yeah. Uh, that's Christ de Berg. <laughs> Stunning. So who's who's the winner? I'm not going to give it to anyone. I just what's don't. The, I say so what? What's the Jamaican bit got to do with it? It's the D. Just Christ de Berg. <laughs> say it again. No, I think they, they've worked it out now. What's what do you say again? Christ de Berg. And who's that? What? Who's that? Who's what? Who's Christ de Berg? Chris de Berg. Who's the winner, Steve? I'm, do you know what? I'm going to give it to Aidan, so, because he just he just treated you with nothing but contempt. Steve Martin uh, uh, emailed in again. He got the first two, and then the last one he just emailed, I neither know nor care about this answer. I'm tempted to give him. He's you, one do of you the know what you've done there, don't you? Go on. You've put the nail in the coffin of uh, Rockbusters. I warned you. I warned you for three weeks, and you sort of bucked your ideas up for a little while. But Christ did Those work. are the worst you've ever done. Uh, the worst of Delimitri, so, uh, and... Didn't it just put D, and then buy and buy and ferry, buy and buy and ferry, buy buy uh, buy and ferry. So. Mock turtles, can you dig it? Remixed by Slim. Yeah. Yeah. XFM one four point nine. Ricky Gervais, Steve Merchant, mm -hmm. Carl Pilkington. Ooh, <laughs> stuff, oh, stuff to dear, do, what's going on? stuff what's been to happening? talk about and that. What's been, oh, going so... on? what's been going on? Oh, um, before you came in, oh, you saw it, didn't you? That experiment I was doing with the... <laughs> <laughs> An experiment? Yeah. Well, I, all I know is as I walked in the building, I passed the little kitchen area, you were hitting Carl on the head with a tin tray? Didn't it make a good noise? It was a great noise. Um, but I'm interested, explain more about the experiment. Cause... Well, I wanted, to, I wanted to see how hard I could hit him and make it resonate. Right, before I either caved his skull in, or, right. you know what I mean? So, you had to hold it quite loose, okay. so it could, like, vibrate, but you had to grip it hard enough to give it a good whack. Right. And his head's brilliant for hitting stuff on. He wouldn't <laughs> is it? It is perfect. Cause Can't, it's like, could we recreate that moment a bit later on the radio? You'll notice that you've been on for 15 minutes, I haven't said a word. So it's had a bit of an effect on me. <laughs> <It's> still, <laughs> still a little bit shaken. Okay. <laughs> Oh uh, dear. But yeah, do it again later. We right. were talking about your head a little bit earlier, weren't we? It's not gonna mean that you're sort of a bit, you know, fuzzy thinking, is it? Ah, uh, it'll be alright. Yeah. Okay, so... Good. Can we recreate that later, maybe I towards the end of the show? Just hit you on the head with various objects, see which make the best sound? He said, he said, about, he said talking about time out, I said but, something about in time out, and he went, ah, uh, yeah, do you read that? I went, yeah, yeah, I read it, I get it every week, yeah. He went, ah. Uh, there's no point though, is it? Because it's, it's like a f telephone directory. You know, if you want to look something up, you look it up, but you'd never sort of browse the telephone directory. And I went, that's an interesting point. He went, although I did. <laughs> when I was in Scotland, I just looked up how many Macs there were and there was 42 pages of them. <laughs> how bored are you in your hotel room in Scotland to suddenly start working out how many people start with Mac? Did you, were you sat in your room? You, there is nothing else that you can I'd, think I'd of to do. I've been working. It's when we did the show from, you know, XFN did some stuff from Edinburgh. Yeah. You were sat in the hotel room. Sat in the room, waiting to sort of go out and get some food and that. Sat there. Why were you waiting to go out and get some food? Because we're all going to meet up, we're going to meet up with, you know, with Simon So you, you thought, right. I'm not going to switch the TV on, I'm not going to read a the magazine. The telly was on, nothing was on, I wasn't impressed with anything that was on, so I'm looking around <laughs> the room. I had a couple of the free shortbreads. <laughs> <laughs> He remembers. Yeah. He remembers. He remembers a specific biscuit he yeah. had. Yeah. That's fantastic. I had a couple of them, and then um, looked around. There was a Bible, and I thought, well, I know about that. Yeah. There's nothing in that I don't know. So, got the phone book up, and I immediately thought, there's a lot of Mac this and Mac that in Scotland. Macintosh. Yeah. Mac Daddies. Macateer. Yeah. There's loads Return of names. So I thought, I wonder how popular it is. Um, <laughs> I wonder just how popular it is. Forty-two pages of Macs. Did you count how many pages there were? Yeah. 
Did and you then, did you just work out from the numbers on the bottom of the page, or did you literally count? No, I counted. Count them? I counted. Right. And uh, and how many do you reckon are on a page? There's a lot in there. It's if someone could tell you approximately how many and, sorry, names I, they what, get on one page, how long did it take you this whole procedure? What, what the counting? Yeah. Not, not that long. No, it's, it's just counting two pages. pages. Yeah, so yeah. It's not yeah. that much. They're all together. And what did you luckily. do once you digested that information? What what did you do with that information? Did I you tell stored people? It, what you I mean, look, how long ago was the Edinburgh festival? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> Along with the biscuit, I love to get in his head. I imagine it's a big warehouse, and there's l lots of partitions for weird stuff like bo kids born with tentacles yeah, and yeah. things like that. I, th uh, I imagine there's like quite an old care caretaker, and <laughs> yeah. you go in there. You say, "I'm looking for." The he goes, "Hang on, hang on. I know where they. I, I put that somewhere. Hang on, that somewhere. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Is hang this on. the one when uh, they shave the cat? No, it's <laughs> not shaving the cat. This oh. is the Max. The Max. I know Scotland. The shortbread. <laughs> well, don't don't give me the shortbread because that's putting me up. Right, are we, uh... Competition then, come on then, what is it? Oh. Songs of Phrase. Um, remind us of this? Um, we got the film one coming up later as well. Oh. But Songs of Phrase is the one where I, I took a popular phrase from the show. Well, no, it's not a popular phrase from the show, it's sometimes something you said once. Uh -huh. There's this airy Chinese kid. Yeah. And, and I get all different bits of songs, so, yeah. you know, I make up that sentence. And you have to email in with the artists that you hear. Well, what's right? the popular phrase then? What's this? What's this w popular phrase that's sweeping the nation? Uh, it's what we talked about last week. Go it's, on. Uh, my girlfriend had a problem with a marrow. <laughs> right. Yeah. All right. Okay. She uh, wasn't your girlfriend. Oh uh, yeah, but I couldn't find sort of <laughs> no, okay. blind date or whatever. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah. so seven seven artists it's taken to make up this. Me girlfriend phrase. had. A uh, problem with her marrow. Well, that's at least eight. So, well, maybe I not. I think I've managed it in seven. Anyway, okay. here we go. Oh, what the artist? Well, let's yeah, the names the of the artists. artists. Yeah, Get what, a pen and paper, and make a note. What artist are you hearing here? Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Very oh, good. Okay. Right, What's so, more? So, uh, what, what the artist? Bye. <laughs> Very My girlfriend good. had a problem with her marrow. We want the yeah. names of the artists. What can we win, Carl? Just, just, just can I just um, recap that story? Um, girl can't on a blind date. Um, but when he found out that this girl had some sort of bone marrow problem, he said he didn't want to see her anymore. What's the point in getting to know someone that's going to die? <laughs> yeah. So just that's what you're dealing with. That is what you're dealing with with Carl Pilkington. Would you buy a car with a Duff engine? <laughs> 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 it's a fair point. Ricky Dotchervase at xfm.co.uk. <laughs> anyway, listen, we're sorry, we better get back to the competition. I'm worried that we've, uh... We've lost sight of that competition, because I'm not gonna lie to you, we've had no entries whatsoever so far. <laughs> I can't believe that, because I actually got up most of those. That's actually a more accessible one. I knew- I- I think I know all the artists and I'm stuck on, um, uh, Girlfriend, but I think I might know who that is. Let's hear it again. I'm surprised. Now I think that's a pretty accessible one. An eh? Accessible quiz. Yeah. So no one's is the email up or no one's listening? No. Well, I think there's a little bit of that, but um, we I think we've accidentally closed down the texting. Oh. So if if you're texting in, this <laughs> is rubbish. It really is awful, isn't it? Yeah. Just just play it again. Hang on a minute. Bye. I'll tell you what it was, we didn't give out the prizes. We didn't say what the prizes oh. were going to be. That's the reason. Yeah, I think, I think the emails are going to go out mental yeah. when they- When they find out it's the first series of Open All Hours on VHS, <laughs> they'll be uh, <laughs> yeah. flooding in. Let's see what and a got Bridget here. Nielsen video. Exactly. Right. Oh dear. Oh, no, God. actually, it's not too bad. Go on. The best air guitar albums in the uh, yeah, in the that's world. still going. That's <laughs> volume one that's and green. <laughs> That'll keep running and running. Uh, Some kind of anniversary box set of a Doctor Who episode with a small one model car. What's that, baby? I'm Alan Partridge series two. That's yeah. worth having, obviously. And yeah. Porridge series three. Okay, good. If not uh, watched all of them on UK Gold. Then <laughs> <them> on <DVD. laughs> there's something wrong with you. <laughs> all right. So yeah, let's hear it again. All right. Bye. Bye. Just name the artist, that's all we want, just yeah. the artist. <laughs> Ricky, <laughs> Ricky Dodger Vase at xfm.co.uk. Play record. Ryan Adams. Yeah. Yeah, oh, this is absolutely fantastic. His version of Wonderwall, if you've not Beautiful. heard it yet, you'll be loving it. You'll be loving this.
Liberty. Liberties, don't look back into the sun on XFM 104.9. I'm Ricky Gervais with me, Steve Merchant and Carl Pilkington. Carl, have we got the results? Yeah. Go on then, what are they? Uh, play songs of phrase. Okay, this, this, songs of phrase. This was the phrase, these were the phrase. songs. My girlfriend had a problem with a marrow. The answer's Sinatra, Prince, Billy, uh, Bill Medley, uh, U2, Shirelles, there was also Dub Pistols in there. Uh, no, well, no, no one got all of them, Carl, obviously. Um, but we'll give it to Mark Cantan. He got, uh, what do you get, about six or something. Yeah. Well done, he's from Dublin, Good. so that's nice. Well done. Listening over there, the Irish. Yeah. That's good, aren't it?